the man accused in the Jewish community center shootings in Overland Park facing a judge today. Prosecutors painting a picture of Fraser Glenn Cross as a dedicated anti Semite who came to Kansas City to kill Jews. The rampage killed 14 year old Reed Underwood, his grandfather, Dr. William Corcoran, and Terry Lomano. None of the victims were Jewish. KBC 9's Michael Mahoney was in the courtroom today. He joins us from Johnson County with more. Yeah, this was not the trial. This was a preliminary hearing. And at this hearing, prosecutors walked their witnesses through the accounts of that day in April 2014 when three people died in southern Johnson County. And Fraser Cross also said, or according to a policeman, Fraser Cross also said he wanted to know how many did I get and whether or not the policeman that he was talking to was German and whether or not he wanted to join Cross's cause. Now, for the most part, Cross sat silently and quietly in his jail uniform in a wheelchair in the uh, courtroom. But at one point late this afternoon, he turned to some spectators in the courtroom and seemed to say something to the effect that he regretted the death of the little boy. That would have been Reed Underwood, who was a high schooler at the time and was caught in the, in the shooting. Several witnesses did not want their faces televised during this hearing. One woman by the name of Margaret Hunter described how she thinks the man is cross that killed one of the victims, Terry Lomano, and she also told the judge how close she was to the victim and the victim's car when the woman was shot and killed. Then the prosecutors walked her through the next developments. So after the gun goes off, what happens then? Then he turned to me and lowered the gun to his waist and had it aimed at me. Pointed the long gun at you? Yes. And he said, are you a Jew? And I said, no. And he put that gun in the trunk of his car, closed the trunk, got in the car, and drove off toward the west. Now, Cross's lawyers today tried to uh, damage the credibility and reliability of some of the prosecution witnesses. He asked repeatedly whether or not these eyewitnesses could identify Cross for sure. Many of them said he looked very similar to the person that they saw, but they could not be 100 percent sure. It's unlikely or unknown at this time what impact that might have on the judge's decision. Michael Mahoney, KMBC 9 News.